Ruth here, and this is the April 2024. Uh, oh, what was the title of it? Mamie's Scripture Stamp of the Month Clip. Yes. So, it, it is in the middle of May. Right now. Or when it's going to be released. Currently, it's the beginning of May. It arrived... Um, well, it was sent out on the 23rd, by the looks of it, of April, and it arrived, say, I guess near the beginning of May, because currently, it's the, uh, um, what day is it today? <laughs> you know what? It is oh, the third, the third of May, yes, and it came maybe on the first or second. No, 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 it didn't come to me. Wait, did it come yesterday? No, I'll say it came on the first of May. So, like, for this, then the next payment is on the 15th. And the, when it sends out, is 23rd around. So, I'll be in the previous month's thing, like at the beginning of the next month. So, anyway, this is, let's see, what was it called? Crown of Glory. And it's right, right there. That's the title of the stamp set. And do go check out May May Made It on YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Um, there is, as you can see, a huge crown, loads of jewels, and you are far more precious than jewels. Proverbs 3.15 You were made to shine, Zechariah 9.16, and he has crowned you with glory and honor, Psalm 8.5. So, yeah. it's, I don't know, well, now I've got two, at least, I can, Okay, hold on. It wasn't sticking. Alright, this was the previous uh, March. Yeah, March 1, as you probably saw in that video. Personally, it's just. I'd prefer. If you compare it, I'd probably prefer this one because it's got a cute stamp on it and. But like, this one, I guess, if you masked the crown, or you put the jewels, you know, situated them, then masked the jewels, you can like, layer it on top of each other, or just cut them out, and stick them on. So you got a big crown, you got a small crown, big jewels, small jewels. I mean, if you had a treasure box stamp somewhere, you could have the jewels falling out of the treasure box. I don't think I have a treasure box stamp, though. Actually, I do. It's just very small. Yeah. It's very small. This is the one I got recently. But anyway. Sure, what I'd really do with it much. I mean, I saw their video of this one because I couldn't bother to wait, and I saw their samples. I mean, their samples are pretty nice that they made, but um, 
I don't know. Mm. I don't like make with it. Hmm. Well. So I am intrigued to see what will be May's stamp set. So they do have quite a lot of good ones. And I did order was it two or three more three more stamp sets that are at my US friend's place because it's cheaper to send over there. And yes. I mean, <clears throat> I'm not really sure what I do exactly. Because mm -hmm. I, I guess recently I did have some... I don't have very many people stamps, you know? And then this crown is way bigger than her head. I mean, I could do this one and have them holding up the crown, you know? That, or this one, they're huge. <laughs> and that'd be funny. I mean, you could have the big crown and have the mermaid right on top of it. But anyway, that's just random. <laughs> Um, yes. I'm just rambling on, aren't I? So, what I do, really, for these, because that's how I store them, I cut off the top, and then I Take stamp and I put tape over here so I don't lose either side of the acetate. And then technically this is I did I did cut it a bit short, didn't I? I did cut it a bit, didn't I? Yes, just tad. I don't really need it's nice thickness of the backing. Anyway. And I just It's not straight. This is a 
They can be used for birthday cards, I think. I'm not sure what else you'd put them besides a birthday card. Maybe a congratulation one, too? Anyway, yes. So, thank you for watching. Over and out.